A phased array transducer with a cardiac exam type is used to perform an ultrasound-guided transthoracic pericardiocentesis. The patient is placed in a left lateral decupitus position if possible. Place the transducer at the apex or point of maximum impulse with the orientation marker to the patient's left side at a 3 o'clock position. The apex of the heart is visualized closest to the transducer. Move between the apical and parasternal long axis views of the heart to determine the most superficial and largest pocket of fluid. The myocardium will appear gray and the blood-filled chambers will appear hypoechoic. The ventricles are in the near field and the atria are in the far field of the image. A pericardial effusion will appear as a dark anechoic fluid collection surrounding the heart. For direct needle guidance using an in-plane technique, the transducer is rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise, so the orientation marker is at the 12 o'clock position. This will create a view of the heart that is between the apical four chamber and parasternal long axis views. Note the absence of the lung to ensure it is not in the needle path. The needle is inserted in the skin just proximal to the transducer opposite the side of the orientation marker. The needle is slowly advanced and is seen as a bright hyperechoic linear structure. The needle is slowly advanced under direct ultrasound visualization until the tip is seen to puncture the pericardial fluid collection. The needle should be advanced until the needle tip lies within the fluid collection, which can then be aspirated. Vascular structures to be avoided include the internal mammary and the intercostal arteries.